G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to clear up any confusion around the holding the ball rule. Holding the ball has been controversial throughout all of history. Historians actually believe that Ned Kelly was one of the first people to get caught holding the ball. I personally thought he was taken a little bit too high. That's a historic execution joke. Holding the ball is the AFL's LBW, and yelling ball is the AFL's how's that? Except some supporters seem to be a little bit excessive when yelling holding the ball. Ball! 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 That's ball! Mate, can you stop yelling ball? Yeah, I'm saying pass the ball. The definition of holding the ball with prior opportunity is where a player in possession of the football has had prior opportunity, a field umpire shall award a free kick if that player does not correctly dispose of the football immediately when they are legally tackled. Let's have a look at some clear examples of holding the ball. Through the hands of Zorko, picked up by Smith, blitz up, corner of the tackle. From Bay to stop the handball, Petrarca tackled, lost it, Lever. That is... Absolutely. None of those examples were paid. Jesus, don't have to be dead to be stiff. <laughs> the modern day AFL footballer are so flexible and athletic. So in any situations, they can get foot or hand to ball, making a tackle that looks like it's holding the ball, not because they legally dispose of it. Sparrow. Well, that one was holding the ball. But Tom Sparrow got his boot to it. This is a mess. This is an absolute mess. But I actually have a plan to fix the umpiring situation. I don't think we need umpires that know the rules. And I don't think we need to fix the rules. I think we need to bring in big and intimidating umpires. There's no way in hell a player is going to back chat to an umpire the size of Shane Mumford. And there's no way opposition supporters are going to yell abuse over the fence to a Shane Mumford sized umpire. So that's my plan. Bring in big muscly umpires and give them the reins to clip a few blokes. Last but not least, I think it's our job to support the umpires. So from now on, no booing. From now on, no umpire abuse. From now on, no AFL parody diss tracks on umpires. It's not productive. It's not productive. Anyway guys, that is my explanation of the holding the ball rule. Hopefully, We've all got some clarity on the rule and we can move on and enjoy the great game of AFL footy. Once again, I appreciate everyone who gets around the videos. I also appreciate everyone who subscribes. I've been showing this little graph the last couple of weeks and you guys have been jumping on board, so I'll show it again. Only 36% of my audience are subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you watch regularly, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel as quickly and as big as we can. And I appreciate all of the support of people who hop on. Anyway, guys, that's it for another video. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you all very soon for some more content. Cheers.